Uh, my name is Dave McConnell. I'm the first year watchmaking uh, instructor here at North Seattle College. So I teach uh, micro mechanics and uh, basic watch uh, introduction to watches. Being a, being a watchmaker goes to school, you're very well-rounded, regardless of what school you go to. You're, it's a very collaborative environment, um, and we have a very uh, diverse background of skills, and a lot of people bring kind of a fresh approach to, to repair. And you know, I, I learn from my students all the time, things that I just never would have even thought of, because I'm used to doing it you know, one way, and everything I learn, I, I take back and you know, try to work it into our lessons and, and uh, really give them all angles of the repair. I've always liked working with my hands of like making things, fixing things, taking things apart, putting them back together. Um, and a friend of mine, um, I was talking with her dad and uh, he just mentioned that his dad was a jeweler and a watchmaker's apprentice. And I was like, oh my God, that's still a thing. So I started looking into it and there happened to be one of the three schools in the country is here. So I just kind of fell into it and two months later I was enrolled and six months after that I started. I grew up in Idaho and my mom has gone to the same watch repair person for years and she kept telling me, she's like, you should really look into this. You know, of course I was like, nah, I know what I'm doing, it's okay. But, and then I ended up going and talking to him, I think two years ago. He was so encouraging and I think that had a lot to do with me actually deciding to look into it and think seriously about it. Initially there wasn't much of a draw specifically to watches and it wasn't until I actually played around with one, took one apart, saw the intricate workings of them and all the ornate craftsmanship that went into some of these things you know, well over a hundred years ago. Uh, that's what really drew me to it and realising that people would dedicate their lives to making these pieces and they would have this pride in their workmanship. I happened to stumble upon this uh, post online I was talking about the watchmaking school up here and at first it just seems like such a kind of odd you know, thing to go into but you know, I thought it over and it seemed to line up with what I you know, like to do. It's all pretty great. I like the manufacturing, making tools and, and also getting familiar with different movements and parts. I had the opportunity to start my student watch project a little bit earlier than the rest of my class and I made kind of a, a first run demo of making the plates for a watch bridge. It's made out of brass, which is nice and easy to machine, but the precision required for those are extremely high. Uh, things being off by less than 0.1 of a millimeter is enough for things not to work properly. You, you develop dexterity with your hands that you can feel, you, you get the feel for things that you usually wouldn't have. You feel the two hundredths of a millimeter something moves. A lot of people they cannot, uh, not, not even I, I believe not even imagine that. Most mechanical and electrical products are very uh, utilitarian. You know they do a job and that's all they do. Whereas in watchmaking we get the opportunity for design as well. Um, really get to marry those two and that um, not just the like the dial and case layout of watch, but the movement itself. I mean there's some really beautiful works of art that are going on the backside of watches these days. Design is almost just as important in a watch, um, making it look aesthetically pleasing is almost just as important as it functioning well. Uh, if you go back in history, the first watches that people wore didn't work that well at all, but they were a, a fashion statement as such. Uh, from the very beginning of the program, there's, it's evident that there's a lot of tradition in watchmaking that um, gets taught to the students. The things that we do um, by hand are very old school, and um, even though there's machinery or equipment that we can use to do our jobs more quickly, we always start from the very basics and um, sort of take this time-honored route. And um, I think that it's very important to sort of continue this tradition um, even when we uh, graduate from the program. With all the new technology and everything new, we still go 100 or 200 years back and look at what they did and pretty much that's what we do. You can pick up a watch from 50 years ago and still get it to work and it still keeps good time. I will always advocate for mechanicals over quartz. They, um, they're cooler, they're fancier, they run on their own, they come the zombie apocalypse, they'll never stop working, and, um, and you can pass it down to your kids. Like This is a thing that will be around for centuries if you take good care of it. I, uh, like I said, I don't want to stare at a computer screen all day. I, um, I want to 
to fix things and build things and I'm perfectly happy doing this for the rest of my life and just getting better and better at it.